How's it going, everybody? It's C Rad TV back here in our video. So, of course, it's another Dice Card Diecast unboxing. We got a couple of Diecasts in the mail today. One of them is a race win, and you can tell which one it is just by the t shirt here. We're going to do the race win last, but we got two other Diecasts we're going to unbox first. So, there, here's the first Diecast, and they didn't put it in a big package. They just left it like this as is. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty easy to open this one up and take a look at it. So, it's just this way. And we'll just get it out of the box here already. Just that quick and easy. So that's to the side. Let's we'll unwrap it. And yeah, this is a good paint scheme. So the first die cast we got here. This is the Kyle Larson Cincinnati Incorporated paint scheme. That Larson ran for a couple races last year. And now let's open her up and take a better look at it. So there we go, and we got a bunch of this stuff here in the box, which we don't truly really need. Throw out to the side, the box off to the side. Take a look at it, and voila! So yeah, this is the Cincinnati Corporate paint scheme that Larson ran for a couple races. He mainly ran this scheme at Michigan and Talladega last year. You know, very cool paint scheme, a lot better than the other paints than the paint scheme that Bowman ran in it the uh, last year. So yeah, really cool paint scheme. Got the little stars and stripe there. The back bumper there. Here's the front of it. And then there's the window. You know, really cool paint scheme. I really like this Cincinnati paint scheme. Too bad Larson isn't running this paint scheme for a couple of races this year. Mainly because of Henrik Cars taking most of the sponsorship for most of the season. But yeah, still a good paint scheme. This is the production numbers 272. And they made... 1,416 of these. So there's a pretty good fair amount of these. Some um, Kyle Larson, Cincinnati Incorporated paint schemes. But yeah, very cool die cast here to add to the collection. So yeah, that's another Larson 2021 die cast to add to the collection. So now we get to our next die cast, which did not come in a package. It just came in this box here. So it just makes it easy to where we just open up like this. And let's now take a look at it. We go here and it's partially open there, but that's okay as long as it's not too damaged. So that just makes it open though. Easy to open it up like this. And voila, there it is. This is the Kyle Larson Favoline paint scheme. The blue one that he ran at Daytona, the night race at Daytona. That was aka the scheme that he won the regular season championship in. So let's take a op open and take a look at it. That's everything else in the box there with this stuff, which we can throw down there in the garbage can. And take open the box. Voila. So yeah, this is the uh, Vaseline paint scheme that Larson ran at Daytona. You got the drive for five on the back and all that. Now, really cool paint scheme for sure. Not a bad paint scheme. I kind of like the red and that Faveline scheme better, though, which is what he runs normally. So, yeah. But still not a bad looking paint scheme, nonetheless. Production number. This is production number 94, and they made 860.40. So, there's a few of these out there. But, yeah, still. Nice looking car for sure. Really love this car. Not a bad looking car, without a doubt. It's a pretty nice looking car. Still like the red one better, but still, nice car nonetheless. Really love this Kyle Larson die cast. Another one for the collection. So now we get to the last die cast of the video, which is in this box here, which is that race win that I was talking about. That Kyle Larson race win, which is the Watkins Glen race win. If you couldn't tell by the t-shirt here. So yeah, I got the knife in hand. Let's open her up and let's take a look at it in the box. Actually, do I got ripped enough now to where I can open her up? Yes, I do. And I guess that knife, it really needs to be sharpened because it's that blade is starting to get a bit dull. As long as I can open up the box enough, then I can just rip it open like this. And there we go. Big box there. Here's the Larson Diecast. And here's a little Fanatics 20% off coupon. Don't really need that. So down that goes. Throw that box aside. See, of course, right there. 
Walkins Glen win for Kyle Larson. So let's open her up and take a look. That box aside. That one's on wrap it. So there it is. This is the Kyle Larson Watkins Glen race win die cast. Um, they made 1,140 of these. But yeah, let's open her up and let's take a look at it. We don't need this. We'll need that card. And we need that. We don't need these two things. So these two can go in the trash. But however... We will need these two things. So, of course, we got the winner sticker, which comes with these winning race win die cast. Then we got the Kyle Larson hero card from the Glen Wayne there. And on the back, all the stuff you needed to know here. So, Larson, it took him about just over two hours to win this race from fourth position. And he led 27 laps and beat Chase Elliott in this race by just under two, or just under two and a half seconds. 2.43 seconds to be specific. So yeah, that's all that there. Put that card to the side. And now let's take a look at the race win. And voila. So yeah, nice looking die cast for sure. Production number on this is 594, but there's still a pretty good amount of these race win with for Larson and Watkins Glen. So yeah, overall, not a whole lot here. On this car, not a whole lot of markings on it. Not even any markings from the car from when Larson dumped Christopher Bell. Nearly midway through the race before the final round of pit stops. You know, pretty clean car for the most part, nonetheless. And of course, the fuel thing is over on this side. Where he sensed the car was fueled that way. Like, you maybe got a little bit of some dirt marks on the car here, but nothing too major. Tires aren't even burned out for the most part. But it's a pretty it's a pretty clean car for the most part. Nonetheless, you know, still a nice car to add to the collection. So yeah, now that's five out of the ten race wins for Kyle Larson I got in the collection now. Out of the five. The next one that should come in is the Bristol win in a cup, maybe in a not not too long. But yeah. Nice card at the collection. So, yeah, that's another Kyle Larson race win die cast. So, yeah, that's all the die casts for this unboxing of quite a few good die casts added to the collection. So, yeah, a lot of die casts I ordered last year, they're all starting to come in now. And, of course, we'll be, go we'll be going to Watkins Glen in a couple weeks. But, yeah, anyway, that wraps it up here for this unboxing. And that's all I got to say. Well, it was a great day, and I'll see you all whatever I make next. NASCAR Heavyweight Champ, out.